Tales told by those who've travelled with David confirm that vanity is not one of his vices. I ended up sharing a tent with David, which incidentally I had no clue how to put up, but he put it up and he used to sweep it out in the morning and I used to stand there thinking, gosh, this is the guy who used to be managing director for the BBC, you know, he's, he's sweeping out my tent. We did one trip in Virginia and he was wading around in the swamp up to his midriff and we finished that, went to the airport and then me and him flew to New York, him still in these swamp trousers. Given three cases to carry, he will always pick the heaviest. And we're all running around like little hens around a rooster, trying to stop him, you know, doing some damage to himself by picking up the heaviest case. His suitcase would go for a high price in the Antiques Roadshow. I mean, it's the most ancient, battered, held together with camera tape, araldite, and he will not give it up. His trousers, they've done a few series now. In fact, when I was filming in Borneo, the bottoms of his trousers were all frayed. And Vanessa said, look, we can't have you with those frayed trousers. Said, What's wrong with them? I've worn them for years. And quite often before a take, you have to say, oh, David, I think you ought to just smooth your hair down and maybe tuck your shirt in. And he's always got a few wine stains and food stains down his shirt, but I think that's what makes him human. He was always a mess. I mean, if you look at the pictures, I'm rather over sort of dapper and Dave with his socks down over his shoes and his trousers splitting and his shirt filthy dirty. He doesn't smell. I mean, he's quite pleasant, they're quite clean, but he doesn't give a damn. David favors a wardrobe of sturdy predictability, regulation blue shirt and trusty beige trousers. People say, why do you always wear the same thing? And there's some very practical reasons. One of it is, of course, it enables you, in terms of continuity, to cut things together. So that um, stuff you shot two years ago, if you really wanted to stick another thing in, you could, you could put the two together and nobody would know the difference. But the other important thing, as far as I'm concerned, it seems to me that if you change your costume and wear, I don't know, some kind of, you know, I don't know, some kind of fashionable thing, people say, why has, he wearing, why has he done that? Is it trying to tell us something? I mean, has the climate changed or, um, you know, I mean, what's he trying to do? So you are asking for attention away from what it is you're trying to talk about. So it's much better that the narrator should always have the same thing so you don't have somebody who suddenly appears with a funny hat or, you know, with a feather boa. <laughs>